हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू जावाई जेसम और इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट लूप्स इन जावा सो लूप्स इन जावा इज आल्सो ए वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स इफ यू नो द लूप्स देन ओनली यू कैन गो विद द लॉजिकल क्वेश्चंस डीएसए एंड यू कैन राइट सम बिग लॉजिक ओके एंड यू कैन ऑटोमेट समथिंग ओके सो इफ यू वांट टू डू सम ऑटोमेशन और इफ यू वांट टू डू समथिंग लाइक व्हिच इज रिपीटेडली चाहे अगेन अगेन इट विल एग्जीक्यूट देन यू कैन गो विद द लूप्स इन जावा ए लूप इज ए प्रोग्रामिंग कंस्ट्रक्ट सो इफ यू वांट टू लाइक इफ इंटरव्यूअर आस्क यू या समवन आस्क यू लाइक ओके व्हाट इज लूप डू यू नो अबाउट लूप सो सिंपली यू हैव टू टेल इन जावा लूप इज ए इट्स ए वन ऑफ द कंस्ट्रक्ट यू कैन से दैट इज अलाउ यू टू again and again execute a block of the code until a certain condition is met otherwise you can say the loop is something like uh, which is executing a block of the code again and again okay so block of the code will be executed again and again that is called loop so it will uh, do the operation for the some certain conditions or if you want it's a do the infinite time also so that is called loop so what exactly loop will do so for example i have a some line of the code like one to line of the code and uh, i want to execute this line until some condition will meet so what i will do is i will start this loop and i will put one condition which is going to that place then we can stop it okay so in the simple example if i tell you we have a some box okay and i have started from here and i have a one indicator like if i reach to that particular box i have to stop it so i am going 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 one place to another place and i am checking like each and every box if it this symbol is available in this box i have a stop that time so like that it will work so based on some conditions we can stop the loop and based on the some conditions until you can start your loop and you can execute it so this is the very very important and uh, loop if you are doing work with the loop so loop will come in the so many places and uh, so many way it will help you to understand like what is the loops and how you can do work with the loops okay so there are three types of the loops in java okay what are the types so exactly if i told you so there are two types of the loops in java first one is entry control so entry control if i told you it means for loop and while loop and another one is like exit control so how you can decide like who is the entry control who is the exit control so entry control it means you have a one block of the code with loop and i want to check like if the condition is checking in the first place in the above of that so we can say it's a entry control in the entry time only it's checking the condition that is called entry control loop exit control means in the do while loop if you go first it will give the permission to execute block of the code and then it will check the condition so that it's called exit control loop okay let us uh, we can discuss these things in the letters okay in very depth as of now just know about like we have a two types of the loop which is entry control and exit control and uh, if you talk about the loop so in the entry control will come for and while loop these two loops will come while and for loop will come into the entry control and this loop will come into the exit control okay otherwise you can say like two uh, three types of the loop for loop while loop do while loop it's also fine no issue okay overall loops are the powerful tools in the programming that you that allow you to automate repetitive task and make your code more efficient okay so for example i want to do something operations in some particular times so if i do manually it takes lots of the time so we can put those things into the loop and it will execute it so it will print okay let's go to the next slide so what is the use of loop in java 
okay so where where we are using this uh, loop so we can discuss in this video so basically iterating through the array i don't know you know array or not so as of now i have not uh, covered the array later i will cover array i will cover linked list i will cover array list so that you can understood like what is the exactly benefit of the loop but as of now just aware about it okay so iterating through the array or list loops can be used to iterate through the each element so while iterating a some array or list we are going through the loop can perform the action on each element processing user input so while taking an input from the users we can take array uh, like loop help running a simultaneous so if you have a, some task and you run you want to run a simultaneously then we can go with the loop generating a sequence so if you want to generate some sequence or uh, some tables or yeah, some value you can go with the loops performing a mathematical computational operations like uh, loop can be used to perform a iterative mathematically operations or computations such as uh, calculating the factorial of a number so if you want to calculate a factorial of the number you have to go with the loops okay so it's a so many places we are using the loop so without loops you can't do coding and uh, you can't understand pro programming so it's a very very useful once you understood the loop then you can write a code you can execute and compile and you can write a big big code also okay because loop will help to write a big amount of the automation code okay so let's go and understand next so what is the for loop in java so a for loop is used to execute a block of the code repeatedly repeatedly for a fixed number of times so how you can decide like uh, when I, I have to take the for loop when i have to take the while loop when i have to take do while loop because we have a three types of the loop you can see here so in the three types of the loop all are doing the same but when or while we can take this loop so based on some situation we can take the particular loop for taking a for loop for example you want to take the for loop so a for loop is used to execute a block of the code repeatedly for a fixed number of times so if you have a execute the loop fixed number of time then we are recommend you go with the for loop the syntax of the for loop is this is the for which is the keyword parenthesis open parenthesis close curly braces open curly braces code you can write your code inside this block and here you can give some initialization condition or increment and that is the mandatory also okay so you have to give those details and then based on this condition it will execute the code okay so only remember if you have a fixed number of times to iterate the if you have a fixed number of times to iterate the loop then you can go with the for loop what about the while loop a while loop is executed a block of the code repeatedly or again and again you can say until a certain condition is met so based on the conditions it will meet and it will stop the while loop okay so previously we have seen for loop will be number of the times and this is based on the condition the syntax while loop is as follow so this is the while loop syntax so this is the while keyword and here you have to give some condition and now you can read, write the block of the code and uh, this is the curly braces open and close and uh, based on this condition it will execute multiple times okay what about do while loop so if you go with the do while loop in java a do while loop is just similar to the while loop but the code inside the loop is executed at least once so here you can see it's a do curly braces open curly braces close close then we are writing while keyword and now we are checking the conditions so it's saying like uh, it's a similar but uh, the code inside the loop is executed at least one so without testing the condition at least one times this code will be executed it's a do block okay and then condition will check and then again if condition is true it will execute do block again it will condition will check if it is uh, true again it will execute do block if it condition is false it will come outside okay so because of that we are saying this is the exit control 
exit control so in the entry time there is no conditions or nothing you have to execute it and while going to the like end you can check the condition and then we are again uh, like flowing it and we are doing the operations with this okay so this is the difference with uh, while loop do while loop or for loop so you have to aware about it and you have to understanding on that so that you can take loop based on your situation based on your requirement so whenever people are asking or hr will asking or your interviewer will asking like uh, when you take which loop so you can simply say like uh, if i have a fixed number of uh, iterations and i know the like how many times i have to iterate my loop then i will go with the for loop but uh, i have uh, some condition and based on the condition i have to iterate my loop then i will go with the while loop and uh, i have to like iterate my condition at least one times and first time i don't want to check and uh, so that time i will go with the do while and at least one times i will give the permission to execute the code block of the code which is available in the uh, loops and then after again i will check the condition and based on that i will go to the folder so i am going to give you some assignment here for loop to print the numbers 1 to 10 while loops to print the numbers even numbers between 1 to 20 so for loop to print the numbers 1 to 10 so this is something which is very very important so i hope you understood and try to do this assignment okay which i have given okay once you do it you are good otherwise i am going to explain like how for loop will work and i will give the demo so that you can write your code on so for example control n class you can search here you can write uh, for loop test for loop test for example i want to print i will give you some demo like uh, for example i want to print 1 to 10 so i can write main methods and in main methods i have been written s out and uh, i have printed 1 okay I want to print one to ten. I want to print one to ten. So I have printed one, two, three, four, five. Like that, I have to enter and I have to print it. Okay. For two, three, four, five. Let's take the five only. And if I run it, I can see the output. I can see the output one to five. let's show the example but like every time i am writing a multiple times of the code but that is not good way to writing a code so what i will do is i will write a one line of this code inside the loop and whatever the times of the i want to print the loops i will print it so i will write one yeah. for and uh, inside the for loop so this is the for Start here. I can write int i equal to one. So start with one. I less than equal to ten. So this is the conditions and increment decrement. So i plus plus. So I have to increment every time one. So it will become two, three, four, five, six. And I will print simply one variable called i. And just execute this code. Here you can see. the simply you have written a one line of the code and it's printed like 1 to 10 okay and it's uh, like uh, you have written like five lines of the codes and then that time it's not printing the like uh, all those 1 uh, to 10 if you want to print a 100 times you can write 100 if you want to print 1000 times you can write 1000 and it will print it so that is the power of loop let's see execute this code and here you can see 1 to 1000 it's printed okay so while printing a 1 to 1000 so if you want to print some counting number yeah some numbers so we can go with the loops 
and later we can discuss more about loop and we can do lots of the questions on the loop so that you can understood in the better way like what is exactly requirement of the loop thank you so much